A lot of people ask the question when the best time to upgrade your Synology NAS is after a DSM update is released, and the answer is a lot more complicated than it would seem. Generally, when updates are released, you get new functionality, bug fixes, or new security enhancements, and it's in your best interest to update your system. However, Synology recently released DSM version 7.0.1-42218 update 1. And this might be the one reason why you want to hold off on upgrading your NAS for at least a few days. So there are now two updates for DSM 7.0.1-42218. And update 1 was recently pulled due to an issue they found. Now the actual fixes in this are relatively minor in the grand scheme of things. However, it's important to understand that when a DSM update is released, it's not immediately pushed to your NAS. And one of the main reasons, in my opinion, is that there are issues that can still arise after the update is released, and Synology might have a reason to actually pull that update, and that's exactly what happened in this case. So the question more revolves around how can you protect yourself from this happening, and the answer is really based on your risk tolerance. So for me, I don't update my Synology NAS that's in my production environment until the update is pushed to my DSM. So that means that I wait until it's there in the control panel. And as soon as it's there, I go through and I install it. But generally there's a lag between when Synology releases it and when it's actually pushed to my NAS. And that lag period is when I will go through and install it on my test NAS, but I will not install it on my production NAS. Now the majority of people don't have two separate NASs, one for testing and one for production. However, waiting for that time period to pass might be your answer. And that might be the best thing that you can do. Because by then, you should have a good idea if there's any issues. And if there are issues, like in this case, the update will be pulled and a new version will be released. So personally, I won't be treating this release any differently just because there was an issue with update one. When the update is pushed to my NAS, I will install it. But it's important to understand that there are updates and they do cause issues every now and then. So if you have a production NAS and it's incredibly important, you might want to wait a few weeks. This is not a one size fits all approach. You have to understand your situation and determine a plan that works for you. So there's not much to this video, but hopefully it helped you out in some capacity. If it did, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.